Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and here we are in January. Times up to times five I think we'll do for today. So yeah, we've got a few things to do. We've got these fields to plough that we've recently joined up together in the end of the last episode. As well as that, we got get rid of all those sugar beets and cut them. They're in the trailer already, ready to be cut, so is this just a case of I think bringing the big dump tray down, unload it in there, and put it back into the silos. Then perhaps in February, in the next episode, we start looking at, alongside we're planting all the coal we need in this field, getting a sugar mill in of some sort. Also, money has gone up as quite much, slightly less actually, than usual per hour, and that's because we've turned back on storing the flowers because they're easy to manage, easy to deal with, just go onto a trader by hand, lift them up, no problems whatsoever, so that is why we've done that. Okay, hitting the land limit there. I think we had this issue last time, did we? I think this is just a case of There we go. Long as the main bit of implement is in our land, we can go over the boundary. So yeah, I think what we'll do first of all is quick get us done, and then we can start looking at getting this limed, or that bit in the middle limed, and the rest fertilised. Field's been cultivated, not cultivated, it's been ploughed, and most of the stones have been rock picked. How we miss this strip, I don't know, we'll go over that. And I think there's another strip we miss over here, there we go in the corner. And also, we did have to work on this doing the lime. We've bought two truckloads of lime, and this is what one bag has done. Well, one for those done. It's just that. And there's a lot more to go. And it's going to be a lot more filling up. And I've been thinking. Got a bit of money. Let's spend it. So. That does 80 meters. However. I think it's time for an upgrade. So where is it to? It'll be under. 
crop protection. We're going to go with the John Deere 4940 self propelled sprayer. Now we can have road crop tires and all sorts. So it's only lizards or mice or midgetins. So. Ooh, let's go, let's go with do these. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Fender. Not really a point in that. Go with that. This is going to be one of one, hopefully, or maybe one of two. So, yeah, that is 230 grand. But the important thing is, is the dry box. That holds 90,000 years and it does it at twice the working width that we was doing this. Yeah, we could buy that as well for herbicide and that, which we probably will actually. I think let's go with the John Deere Green. That is 278 grand. We'll make some money back by selling this. Uh, not the cost, the brittle sprayer, but sprayer, spreader, whatever, but that's just to mitigate our cost because we do want to purchase a few more fields, get them plowed up and cultivated or whatever it needs doing before we do any major planting coming up in the spring. So. There we go, that goes there. And let's check into the used market. I'm not going to buy the closest harvester, we're going to buy a brand new one. There we go, and 42 grand we got from that, so an extra 30 grand. It's better than nothing, I guess. Now, let's get this baby hooked up. There we go. And this is gonna make our life so much easier. Oh, look at suspension. Oh, and you can tip this. Wasn't there an option to stabilize this? Is it? There we go, that's it. So it can do narrow gaps. There we go, I think that's just about the perfect width there. It was just catching off the ground, but... So yeah, this is like 200 in... 12,000 litres alone we've got, so that is about six and a bit loads, so again that line may not be enough, we do have a fair bit of stone though, so there is that, oh yeah we forgot we also have a little bit of solid fertilizer in here, but that is not going to be needed for us. And I'm hoping this does it at 32 meters, not like 60 meters. So now there's been some mods now I've seen where it says X amount of meters. That's just for the soft fertilizer and not the lime. Lime's usually about a half or six meters less. Hopefully this is a bit. Well, I've tipped it. Oh great! I should. Yeah. Should get that wide and not be a bit cocky and. Oh, that's going to be a heavy recovery. There's a the cloth. And everything else is back up for him, so let's go and grab that a sec. There we go. Get you attached. Get the weight on. Sort of the right way, but it's on the hitch, and not the three point linkage. So, can't get it as close to the ground. Well, We'll just fix that now because I think we're going to need to lower that to get a bit of leverage on us. So far we have not been able to not 
correct anything. But this may be a challenging task for us, so... Get the weight. Drop the weight down. And... Oh, no. Ugh. Stay. Actually, can I... Ooh, can I strap this at all? Yes, we can. Oof. Physics is not liking that at all. Ah, no, no, don't go over. Come on. I do not want to reset this. I think we've got a bit more money. I could possibly say I'll get a wheel loader and that, but. Because I take handler, I don't think it would make a difference here. Um, let's try from this side. Try something here. Just ram it. Ram our brand new self propel sprayer. I think ramming may be the solution here. Because I don't think we're doing anything to this and we've uh broken our broken this, so try it one more time. If not, speed of power it is in. If it could just fizz it out and flip its way around then you know what? I'll be happy with that. But Hey, it's fixed at least, so well, I guess that's one positive. Oh, and you know what? Speed and power. Nine miles an hour, with a hundred thousand liters of line, fifteen hundred horsepower engine. So, what can possibly go wrong? Attempt number one here, and so far we've got up to about 40, 41 miles an hour with this, so this has got to do, this has got to do, and ah, I think, let's get the tractor detached, because then I think it can, if we say go from this side, if I can lift this up as much as possible without strapping it, because I think the strap ain't going to help us correct it, so. So I think in. Go like that. Try, I'll try to get a hook on the wheel. There we go. No, nope. Do. I'll do. Actually, no, not really. Because it's right. Sweet face is in the back, so then get us up and then let's get ready for take number two. Take number two. Go in a little bit faster 40, 41, 42. Just too heavy. It could, it could shift it, but what I'm gonna do is try it off camera, see what we can do here, and then I'll bring folks back once we are sorted and figure out what to do because I may have to reset this, which I'm not gonna be happy about. A ten thousand pound mistake later, we are sorted. So. Yeah, we had to reset. The 10 grand are a penalty. We lost the product, so. Don't try to tilt this again. Oops. Hit the one tree that's in. Well, one, two, three trees. Four, five, whatever trees in the middle of the field. 
But now, let's go and give this a little quick test, shall we? So, I'm moving this through 2 meters. If it's 60 meters in, that's about a quarter of a million pound mistake we've just made, so. Could definitely do it faster, but. Is that 32 meters? I don't think it is. It's good in that, but. Guessing can can't just dump a bunch of heavy limestones on the ground at a very big width, so it's bigger for sure. What? I'm gonna leave workers to sort that out. The rock picking, how's that coming along? Okay, that's full, that's got a little bit left to do. I did notice we did forget to mulch the field, so what I may do is get the cultivator. I should want to grab that now, actually. So much pieces of equipment. I will try to cultivate it now. See if we give that mulching effect, or mulched effect. So, so we're mulching and cultivating. That's the mulch and that's the cultivated effect. And has that done anything? Oh, I don't think it has. Bugger. Because yeah, the mulch should be done after the harvest, before the ploughing. Not afterwards. Set the map loads. Nope. Well, that's that's two and a half percent yield bonus. We're not going to get. Oh, that's a bummer. Guessing. Oh well, is what it is. I should know it. I thought try be do a bit of a gamble, but. It's not even a gamble, it's just a mistake, more than anything, so... Well, that's the field mostly done, just use application of fertilizer. And apart from that, nothing else really, so... Let's go and quickly top up this... TMR maker. We're making a ton of TMR of this, so... And this is really working out well for us, so... I've got like 380,000 years in the trailer, well, in the silo. Hundred twenty-five in here, and that's it. So yeah, about half a million years of TMR. There we go. That's all the TM, or well, not TMR, or the straw. Put times up times five since we're done recovering. I did put it back initially after the time lapse because of accidents or sort of having a break from the game for a few minutes and I forgot to pause the game so time skips on a bit more than I would have wanted so that's why that is that. But now it needs silage so. Dump you and grab you and let's go and get some silage. Just had a notification saying workers done, so is it actually done or what? Okay, I still do that. Well it stopped so Can't adjust the spread width. So well, I'm guessing that's most of it done, but yeah, not really worth one is. And this was a bit we missed, not intentionally, but because of me. So you know you what, but it does have 25 miles an hour, so it's not so much of a 
downgrade such or waste some money. Because at the end of the day, it's self propelled, just frees up a tractor, so. I'm guessing that's better. Uh, we'll just boop you out the way. Or just do. do the healing at all. Fair enough. And also, we've got this to do, which I did, didn't realise that time was filling it all to capacity, so. Guess we're only getting sugar beet cut this year, not sugar beet on its own. Because when we do the sugar and that, we could have done with sugar and sugar beet and sugar beet cut. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, a little strip down there we'll do afterwards, but apart from that, that's pretty much all of it done, so I think that's all we have to do now is finish this off. F fix the field up, of course, that needs to fix it badly. Oh, come on, for freak's sake. Oh, sorry about that. Calm down now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this time it cost three grand because we bought the line bags separately rather than doing a cheap refill. And you know what? We're just going to leave it like this. And let the worker do the rest of it. If the worker flips it, then I will seriously flip out and sell this on the spot. But no, in hindsight, let me if I know this and why is it lime in this? That doesn't need lime in at all, does it? Or it may do, I'm not sure. It doesn't say so why are you wasting lime on air worker. <sighs> nope, will not do tip. So don't do don't do quick turn-ins on this, but what I'm gonna do is just fur not fertilize, lime this bit here. So the worker doesn't do any more wasting of the lime, so out there. Yeah, give or take. So yeah. We will continue on this, get us all done, and I'll see you folks later on in the afternoon. Once we've done this, we may sell some eggs because we are quite full with the chickens with the eggs. And still a good price for the eggs, so I think that's what we may do too. Yep. Get us done, and I'll see you then. Had me down for the count. I was on nine, nine all the time. Shouted so. Took control, but now I'm gone. Bye bye, bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cruel. It's all that I get from you. You're so delusional. Now watch me take control. I've been running. that we are done all the lime is done fertilizing on this field has been completed did that with the worker off most of it was off camera but 
this, sorry, in the time lapse. So, what I do is going to grab this fertilizer, get you loaded up ready. Because, since we got this ready, I might as well start fertilizing the field. So, go over here. Nope, nope. Lost a bit of lime there. But yeah, if we have a look, obviously that's the strip off land that we just had, so that uh, will be fully fertilized until we get the crop in. And for the most part, tiny bits of lime here and there needs to do in, but overall, nothing to worry about. And uh, we've only got 10,000 litres of fertilizer. I think this should ask us to do all the fields. And it's got a bit of a better working width, so. There we go. But I think, apart from that, we're doing good. We fed the cows and that. And we've got hay at that situation over. I think what we'll do is just finish off this corner here, do the perimeter, and then we'll get the worker on this. Little dog interference error, apologies about that. But yeah, they have actually, with only 9,000 litres, they should be able to do all of it without much of a problem. But even for now, we'll always get some more. Or, we can start looking at making some, because yeah, I know we said about needing the money for the combine and all that. But realistically, we don't need that combine until the end of the year. Until, well, okay. My correction summer, so plant oats in March and harvest in July. That leaves us with many, many months of earning that and earning the money we need for it. Plus, we've got these pellets 108,000 litres. When we did, was it 100, 800, 3,000 litres? Can't remember how much money we got, but it was something like half a million. From 180,000 litres of pellets. That's going to pay for the combine all in itself, or a combine at the very least, and whatever we get over time, we'll top it up. So I think we can do with spending the rest of this money on productions and, okay, needs to focus on where we're driving. Of course we have some little strips over there. Because I'm thinking I'll get a new plot land, get in plot 55 next to the shop in that. So there is a little dirt path section area there, little dirt area that we could use for some production chains and I think that'd be a good idea and again still missing bits try to get the maximum width possible but overall ain't gonna cost us too much but yeah so I think what we should do is quick get this done and that's where I think we're ended to today Ooh times back up. Yeah, let's put times 10, why not? No, 5. No, 6. <laughs> times something. But yeah, we'll get this done. And I'll see you folks after we're done here.
Fruits does skip some head bits, also you were speaking of emptying some TMR, but I ain't gonna get quite through all that yet, so we'll empty the rest of that tomorrow. I've got a few pallets of flowers to up on the back of the TLX truck. And let's go in, grab some eggies. There we go. Grab that. And we'll grab this one. 7,000 litres. I think we'll do a quick sell of these because tomorrow our main function is going to be selling those pellets. If I guess, probably three loads or so. Actually, four loads because of the power limits. But regardless, we'll get all that loaded up tomorrow in the next episode. And we're going to make a lot of money off of that. And yeah, I was a bit. Suspicious with the whole, well, not suspicious, but oh, uh, what's the word? Not sure on the John Deere self propelled sprayer, but I think I'm coming around to it. It's good, I've good and I've used it on other series before on FS19. I had a few problems with it today, but I think eventually we got used to it in the end, so all's well that ends well. How's the scene goes? And uh, we'll get you strapped. And uh, we'll take the easy shot for a little cheeky sell. 6,000 litres of flowers and 14,000 litres of eggs. Eggs are starting to go down in price, so what we may do is when we start loading all these pads tomorrow, make sure everything's in the Production and storage, and then see so yeah, if we can get away with doing free loads, free trips. That'd be ideal. About 50, 60 pounds a load. Depends on what we've got spawned up as well. And I think as well, I think counts the big bags as well as a pallet. So, but regardless, where it's three, four, or five trips, we'll get it all done. So the eggs, at the moment, best place to sell them. Price is starting to go down, so that's the chance to sell them at a decent price. I sell everything container. And so that's where we'll take it. So for the flowers. Yes, they are accepted there again. That's 10,800, 13,900 quid. And we'll get about another 20 grand for these flowers. No, for these eggs. All in all. That's 13,800. And there goes the rest. See, yeah, 27, 5, and the 27, 6, 27, 7. So, yeah, not too bad. A little bit of a boosty income there. And I'll get us back down to the farm for a start of the next episode for a big send session. But, anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to go down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evolution, and I'll see you all very soon.